him will become apparent in just one minute. He basically helped me out doing something which I could have never done uh, by myself. So he's very good at redstone and he helped me build a flip-flop. And I'll explain what a flip-flop is and how he helped me uh, when we get over to my fun land. But the big news, uh, the big thing I want to share with you is the fact that Googly's Manor, the thing that I've been building for... God, I don't even know how long I've been building that thing for, for a very long time, is now finished. And I can go and give you the first proper tour of Googly's Manor in its entirety. And then I'm going to start building something new, a new mystery ride that I'm going to start building in a sec. But first, I'm going to take a friend with me and I'm going to take... Uh, I'll take Aqua with me, and Aqua's the one uh, sitting over here by the water, and Aqua absolutely loves water, and that's the reason why I'm going to take Aqua with me in this video, and that might be a little bit of a hint for you uh, as to what I'm going to be building um, in this video. Well, what I'm going to start building in this video, no doubt uh, I'm not going to actually get it finished, because I never get anything finished in a video, if you haven't told already. Um... So yeah, uh, let's go over to my fun land. And uh, you don't know what my love garden is, by the way. I kind of went through that quite quickly. Uh, it's basically a place where I give someone a shout out for doing something nice. Uh, whether they leave a funny or nice comment or, I don't know, send me a good picture or video or something. Or in this case, help me out in some way. Help me uh, build something or do some redstone. And Flynn uh, is an amazing redstone creator. Um, he's good mates of Breadstick, someone who you also may recognise. And he helped me build something in my Googly's Manor, which I won't spoil. Uh, I'm just going to show you uh, in just one minute. And whoa, did you see that cow darting across? <laughs> I think they're having a game there. I think all the animals are there are taking bets in terms of how close they can come to hitting the minecart without actually hitting them. <laughs> uh, anyway, here we are in my fun land. Hello, Lee. How you doing, mate? And hello, Ewan. Uh, welcome to one of my videos for the first time. And uh, Ank and Longbow uh, should be somewhere around here, although uh, I'm not sure. There we go. There's Ank, I believe. They're darting up the path. <laughs> I don't think he's very interested in me. He's just sort of uh, wandering around doing his old thing. He's an old hat in these parts. He's been in my videos from the very beginning, so he's kind of used to it. And hello, Longbow. <laughs> you all right, mate? <laughs> How, how's that for making an entrance? And here we are. Here is the first tour of Googly's Manor when it's finished. So, um, Aqua, you can wait for me here. I'll be back with you in one second. Uh, this is it. This is my my spooky haunted house. I hope you're uh, all feeling very brave as we go through here because it might get quite scary and I can already hear uh, some zombies growling in the background and I'm going to make it extra scary uh, by putting on music disc number 11 uh, to add some scary sound effects. And here we go. I know a lot of this you've seen before but there will be some new things at the end. Here's the spooky ghost door that opens and closes and no! Oh, there's nothing here! I was so hoping that there'd be stuff in here. Like normally there's a bunch of googlies in here but literally Literally, every time I start recording, nothing spawns and we don't get any googlies having a dinner party. Right, I'm going to come back here in a minute and hopefully uh, something would have dropped down. I think the problem is, is that I just loaded up the world and nothing's had time to spawn yet. Anyway, moving on and whoa, there's an arrow! And oh no, there's a jack-o'-lantern and ow, I got hit by the arrow. That always happens. I always come through and then someone follows after me and I get hit. Yeah, you should bow your head in shame, Lee. You should bow your head in shame. I'm only joking, it's fine. Have, have a, oh, I didn't mean to give you my axe. I, mean, I meant to give you a, a piece of steak, but oh well. Uh, can I have my axe back? Thank you, mate. Anyway, moving on, moving on with the scary house. And um, here we have some nice cake, which I can go and eat the cake. And oh no, I dropped down into the lava and into the spooky dungeon where the evil snow golems down there. And oh no, unfortunately, someone died in that cage over there. You can see there's some bones and some rotten flesh. And here is evil Mr. Porkchop. Uh, Mr. Porkchop, sorry. <laughs> the most evil pig in all of Minecraft. And then moving up here is uh, one of the newest rooms, what you probably saw me building in my last video if you watched it. There's some spooky ghosts, and there is evil Mr. Porkchop, <laughs> uh, which I think looks absolutely ridiculous. And this is the part you've all been waiting for. Uh, this is the final room, which I kind of like. Uh, you can see you walk in here, and it's a nicely lit creeper bedroom. And then as I walk in, oh no, there's a zombie! There's a zombie's attacking me, and all the lights have gone out! Quick, kill the zombie! This isn't supposed to happen! <laughs> Googly's man has well functioned. Um, what's supposed to happen? Um, it kind of got a bit ruined because Lee came in straight after but uh, you walk straight in and then it turns all the lights off and then the lights are supposed to uh, stay off for a while and sort of scare you and then the lights come back on and uh, the way you um, get out is if I just turn the lights off one more time uh, you see there's a bit of a light from behind that painting and uh, that's because if you go down here 
um, it leads down to the little exit room, which is kind of like a just a nice pretty room with flowers and paintings and uh, some cake. So you can eat that uh, as your reward for getting through Googly's Manor. And I think Ank's there about to have his first time going through. I don't think he's been through before. And I'm just going to turn this off. Um, uh, yeah, turn the, uh, the music disc off because I like having nice music in the background and I don't think the music plays. And uh, what I am going to do quickly... Uh, before moving on to what I'm building in this uh, video, which I will explain in one second. I know I'm being uh, ridiculously vague. I'm just going to quickly show you behind here, just so you can see some of the redstone that was involved in making this light switch work. Look at this! What a ridiculous amount of redstone. And this over here is a flip-flop and that is genuinely what it's supposed to be called that is the technical term uh, for what this construction is and this is what flint built uh, with the help of breadstick as well and it basically like turns a button into a lever so it makes it so that this pressure pad uh, doesn't just send a signal it like switches it on and off and then you press it and then the redstone goes around like all of these repeaters and then it comes up to the uh, the top up here uh, where there's some pistons uh, which sort of pushes a block over the um the glowstone here which sort of acts as like a light switch and I built all this from like uh, up here from here onwards I built all this I built these light switches and I was so proud of it it was just like the final bit I couldn't get working and uh, just through this wall here as well is where the um the googly should but aren't uh, spawning and um, I don't know why they're not spawning and um, hopefully uh, we'll have something uh, by the end of the video it's just really annoying that genuinely every time I'm not recording I get loads of stuff in my um, dining room but whenever I try and show you they all run away uh, so yeah this is what Flint built so thank you Flint for helping me out and uh, that is the reason why I added him to my love garden uh, but anyway moving on to what I'm going to be building in this video and uh, very quickly I need to I need to craft a um uh, craft some more bookshelves. I can't, I can't leave it uncompleted. Um, right, where, where are bookshelves then? Should be in decorations, I guess? And can I make two? Yeah, there we go. So I can just go and put these uh, back here. Oh no, I think I need to make three. I think I need to make one more. Uh, sorted. Also, another little Easter egg I added was in this chest here, because it's supposed to be like a creeper's bedroom with a creeper bed and all these creeper pictures. Uh, in the chest here, I tried to make a creeper face with TNT. <laughs> and uh, it, it kind of works. It looks a little bit like a creeper face. Not very well, though. <laughs> anyway, let, let's, let's leave. Let's leave Googly's Manor for the final time. Say goodbye, everybody. And yay, let's celebrate with cake. <laughs> Lee's happy that we're finally leaving this place. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think, um, like, the way it all fits in together, it's all quite nicely compact. And I think there was a few good ideas put in there. Uh, thanks to all my Minecraft slaves for helping me build it. And what's going on here? Who are you doing bullying my dog? You leave Aqua alone. <laughs> Lee, um, Longbow, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think he's done like a like a redstone clock here, so it'll just sort of keep making it go up and down. Um, okay, I, th I think I'm going to take Aqua away from these people before they bully him. And oh, I just gave him some rotten flesh. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Come on, come on, Aqua. Let's let's leave these bullies alone. Anyway, and uh, now we are almost ten minutes into the video. I'm going to actually explain what I'm doing. What's this? Working piston done by Stampy. I think this is someone taking the piss out of my redstone ability. <laughs> like, as if I, I would brag that I managed to make one um, piston work. And I'm, I'm kind of scared that Aqua's going to go for Lee, because I think Lee might punch me. Um, yeah, I didn't build this. I think this was built by um, one, of my, one of my Minecraft friends, I'll call them, rather than slaves. I think calling them slaves is a bit horrible. <laughs> I think I'm going to stop calling them that. Um, anyway, what I'm going to be building in this video is bumper cars! Yay! Uh, like dodgems kind of thing. Uh, but it's going to be quite cool. I'm going to do it out of boats. And I'm going to do it like kind of in the sky a bit. And I'm going to build it all out of glass. Uh, so you can sort of see the cars underneath. And I'm going to have like multiple different le like levels. I'm going to have it so it's lower on the outside. Then like higher in the middle. And then I'm also going to have like a big um, like kind of diamond shape of a uh, glass with water in. With water coming out the bottom. So it'll kind of look like a diamond. And I know that probably makes no sense to you, like, at all right now. Um, but I will show you. Uh, I'm going to be building it in just one sec after we go to bed. And as I said, I'm not going to get it all done this video. I knew I wouldn't because I had the tour of Googly's Manor to do as well. Uh, but hopefully... Um, I'll get most of it done this video and then I can finish it off in the next video is the plan And then we can all, like, have a game. And I'm going to do it as if, like, there's multiple different teams and Lee... Lee, come on, you know that's my bed. There we go. <laughs> All you have to do is speak to them firmly. If you have, like, a firm, like, voice and, like, sort of, sort of make sure they know you're the authoritative figure, then they do what you say. 
You know, you just got to go, Lee, that's my bed. <laughs> and then they normally listen to you. And if that doesn't work, just hit them with a pickaxe. <laughs> that normally does the trick. Uh, but yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to have like four different teams, like with different colours. And so like you sort of like put your boat down higher up and then you kind of drop down onto the game. If that makes any sense whatsoever. You know what? I'm going to stop trying to explain it to you. And oh, Ank burnt to death. I don't even know where Ank is. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what what would have set him on fire. Oh well, I guess he, I guess he found something dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, as I said, I'm gonna stop explaining. I'm gonna actually uh, start building. Um, right. I got. I got to work this out. So as I said, it's gonna be uh, slightly raised off the ground. So um, I think I'll have it in about uh, here, just so I have enough room. And yeah, I think I'm gonna have like the first corner about here. Uh, does that look okay? Um, I might do it a little bit further over this way. And I'm just going to kind of mark it out with dirt for a little bit. And then this will be about one, two, three, I think four high. Uh, that way you can kind of see underneath and there's like a bit of a roof. And then this needs to go uh, like all the way along here quite far. And this is going to be like the bottom layer. And then this is going to be like the floor. And then in the middle I'm going to have a higher layer which you can actually swim up. And I actually worked out a way how you can like ride up water in boats. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And it basically involves a lot of signs and a lot of pressure pads and stuff to kind of trick the water into letting you, like, swim up in a boat. And it's kind of cool. And I think Lee's there going to try and help me out. And what's going on? Why are they all hitting each other? <laughs> I think Ank's angry that he's died and he's taken it out on Lee. There we go. Lee's helping me out, right? Well, he's carrying on going that way. Uh, I'm going to start doing the same this way. And uh, I'm not going to worry about getting exact for now. I'm just going to do, like... Uh, the main floor and then I'll sort of work out the dimensions exactly a little bit later on uh, but yeah this, this should be pretty cool like I knew I wanted to do like dodgems and I went to a lot of other people's world and they kind of just made a pit of water and like threw some boats in and they were like look there we go there's the dodgems and I wanted to do something a bit more interesting like this is supposed to all be like diamond and crystal and stuff and I actually had the idea of naming this ride um uh crystal water which is, I don't know, like kind of like crystal clear water, like no, 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 crystal waters, that's what I was going to call it. So this is going to be the crystal waters ride, which is a very big difference from Googly's Manor, which was all a bit horrible and ugly looking. It's kind of nice building something pretty. And I just need to now go and count along here, um, just so I can make sure it's the same both sides. So we got, right, I need to make sure I get this right. No one bang into me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two along. Oh my god. Um, forty-two along. Um, okay, and uh, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four. 45 there we go that is probably the most excited i've ever got while counting so one two three um, i think it's gonna be easier to do it lee's way actually three four five oh okay oh no 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 lee don't do it okay as long as he as long as he counts it along right i'll let him carry on doing it and uh, i'm gonna go do the same this way that way i can make it all link up uh, so it needs to be... I'm not going to count in that silly voice again, or else I'm going to lose my voice. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32... 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. There we go. There we go. Now we have ourselves a big square. And I'm just going to go and link this all up. And then I need to like add a floor underneath it and some edges. And then just build the other bit higher up. And I, I might get most of this done this video. I know I've wasted a lot of time in Googly's manner and counting in silly voices. But I think I might get the main bit of this done. And then in the next video I can sort of add all of like the finicky stuff. All like the little details. But yeah, this is this is the floor. This is like the bottom layer. And now all I need to do is start building this in. And then hopefully if I start filling it in, people are going to see what I'm doing. And then, like, help me out. Uh, but as I said, I'm also going to have, like, a raised bit in the middle. So I'm going to have to work out uh, where I'm going to have that. And then also add in all of, like, my pressure pads and signs and stuff to um, make it so the water can get, like, higher and lower. Okay, so I'm hoping if I start filling this in, uh, people are going to see what I'm doing and then start trying to help me out. 
and then um yeah this should be quite cool and i'm also going to have um water around like the edges so i'm going to have like a wall slightly higher up and then i'm going to put water all around the edges there and then um yeah that way like you won't bang into the walls like it will sort of push you back in because it's actually really cool boats have really weird physics so like when you bang into each other you proper like like dong like boying off each other and it looks really cool and so um it should be quite fun these dodgems so like as long as you don't smash too hard and like break the boat it's like this should actually be quite a fun game and i was actually considering of making it kind of like king of the hill because i'm gonna have like the raise part in the middle i was thinking of maybe making it so like you gotta have it so you're the person in the middle and then other people gotta try and get up and you gotta try and like knock them back down and I'm always scared when building like this that I'm just going to walk too far and just walk off the edge. But uh, I realise how slowly I've been building in this video. I'm not a competent builder, as I'm sure you know if you've seen me building a lot. And like I always say in videos, like, I'm a bad builder. And then everyone always like like comments saying like, no, you're not, you're not a bad builder. But like, I know I am. In terms of actual building, like, I mean, look at me, look at me. I'm slow and I keep making mistakes and I keep getting it wrong and I get the dimensions wrong. And like, I'm probably building this wrong. But like, I don't know. I think some of my ideas are okay. And through trial and error and a lot of help from my friends, I think some of the stuff I build is okay. But just the method of getting there is probably a lot more painful than it should be and uh, I kind of didn't realize how long it was going to take just to build uh, this floor and this might take absolutely ages and it might actually be easier just to build it all from like uh, underneath and um, hopefully we we'll get this done uh, quite quickly just because how many there are of us but I think I might actually run out of glass but I think if I build it from down here uh, we might be able to do it quicker and uh, I just need to make sure that I don't forget to build my my raise bit as well because um, yeah, that's quite crucial. Oh, I keep building this wrong. I think I keep banging into Aqua. I think Aqua keeps knocking into me. That's the problem. <laughs> look at everyone else. Look at other, other people, like, taking over me while I'm building. <laughs> it's like a race, and I'm I'm always losing. And uh, I think I might have to go and grab some more glass as well in a sec, because I think, yeah, I've only got one more stack after this stack, and that's uh, me out of glass. Yeah, so I think once I've used this stack, I might go and grab some more. And I do realise that I am running out of time and I haven't got very much built. But hopefully I've at least explained enough what this thing will be so that uh, when I carry on building in my next video, you're going to sort of know what I'm doing. And what I think I will do is I'll build as much of this as I can now. And then outside of a video, I'll carry on building just this boring bit, like this floor. And then like... Uh, in the in the next video, I'll build something more exciting. Like I'll start adding in the water and building like the the more technical and mechanical side of it, rather than the the manual labour of just placing rows and rows of glass. <laughs> yeah, so I think that's what I'm doing. So once I've uh, used up this glass, I end the video. And Ank, why did you punch me? Aqua, stop it! Aqua, sit down. Oh no! <laughs> oh dear! Aqua, sit down. Behave yourself. And oh look, I got a sword. What sword's this? A sword with sharpness. Oh, thanks, Ank. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, hopefully he can come back and grab some of his stuff again. <laughs> I don't know why people always punch me. I think people normally punch me to try and get my attention. And they kind of forget that I've always got a dog by my side to protect me. And the dogs are generally very protective in Minecraft. And if someone even looks at me funny, then they, they start growling and start getting all defensive about me. I've got very loyal puppies and I'm very happy about it. Uh, but sadly, that was my uh, final block of glass. And come on, Ank. You can have your sword back. I won't be great. Greedy. I won't steal any more of your stuff. Um, I don't know what else he had. I think some of this dirt might have been his. He might have been jealous looking for his dirt again. Uh, but sadly, as I said, uh, this is going to end the video here. So I'm just going to carry on uh, filling in this bottom layer of glass. And then in the next video, I'm going to be building the fun bit, all of the water side of it. Uh, but sadly, as I said, that is the end of this video. So I want to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye! I had just finished work and I work in a bar so it was about... I don't know, it's probably about two in the morning I was like when I was reading it. And like I was tired, I was waiting to go to bed, I was in a bit of a bad mood, and I listened to a video and it's just a really nice video and it just made my night. And so yeah, thank you for that, Abby, and welcome to my love garden. Also, if you want to check out that video, um it is public, so I will just leave it um, as a link in the description if you wanted to see the uh, message from Abby. And if you want to be in my love garden, and then all you've got to do is um, leave a comment that makes me laugh, or just, I don't know, just send me a picture, or just do something nice. It's just basically uh, when I want to give like someone a shout out and say thanks for something, and then I add them to my love garden. But if you post loads of comments just saying, can I be in your love garden, uh, then I probably won't add you, because that's just kind of a bit of a boring comment. Uh, but anyway, I'm um, in my dog house where I'm going to go and pick my favourite dog, and let's go and have a look around 
who should I take with me? I know who I'm going to take with me. Someone who I haven't taken with me in a very long time. Barnaby. And Barnaby is actually the um, the oldest dog I own, which I named. Uh, Cedric and Barnaby I got at about the same time. And um, they're two of my uh, longest and most loyal serving dogs. Um, apart from, of course, poor Gregory, which died so long ago. And I'm still not completely over it. So yeah, I'm going to take Barnaby with me, which means I'm going to be very careful this video. Because I really don't want something to happen to Barnaby. I have a bit of a, uh, a bad trait with uh, dogs, with them um, yeah, getting killed in gruesome ways. And Barnaby, I know you're happy to be coming out, but stop being so playful. And what's that? Look, there's, there's someone in my tower. I think that's Longbow. Um, yeah, I should mention who's in the game. Yeah, I got Longbow, uh, Ewan, and Alpha Lee joining me in this video. And I guess Longbow's uh, up in my music tower doing something. Um, I don't, I'll, I'll leave him to it. I, I won't get in his way. <laughs> I guess he won't be um, helping me out in this video. He's a rogue Minecraft slave. He's not going to be uh, helping me out building what I'm going to be building. And uh, as I said in the last video, I've decided to call it Crystal Waters, uh, my dodgems. And um, I think it looks quite cool. I've added to it... Um, a bit since last video. I haven't built very much. And hello, Lee. You're all right, mate. Looks like you've been busy slaying some zombies while I've been away. Um, I'm going to steal some of your experience orbs if you don't mind. And look at my level. I'm level 45. Oh, I should have enchanted something. Before I came over here, I should have made like a diamond sword and enchanted it or something. I try and remember to do that next video. And hello, you and you're all right, mate. <laughs> you're all right, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, so th this is what I've built since the last video. Um, as I said, it's not very much. Actually, I spent most of the time just smelting sand. Uh, we, we had to use so much glass to build this, and, and we were basically just waiting for ages for the, um, the sand to go in the furnace so we can make the glass. But this is what it looks like now, and this is it at the stage it is. Um, these, these rings here we decided to make out of snow. Um, one, because it looks quite cool and we kind of like the look of it. And two, because I need to... Um, build in a minute with pressure pads um, I needed to um, use snow instead of uh, sand uh, if I just make a crafting table quick I'll show you what I mean um, oh look <laughs> looks like there's a few crafting tables down there as well and um, if I try and make a pressure pad and uh, place it down on the glass it doesn't actually let you uh, so I mean you can't see but I am actually pressing the left trigger right now uh, but on the snow you can and uh, because we needed pressure pads around here uh, for what we're going to do with the water we needed to add that in and Barnaby you can sit down for now I don't want you gradually falling off the whole video do you love me Barnaby do you love me do you do you love me yeah he does he loves me he doesn't love fish though <laughs> I tried feeding him fish but he didn't like that I suppose that's much more of a, a cat thing rather than a doggy thing <laughs> uh, so yeah what we're going to do now is we're just going to um carry on building here and um, as I said sorry I am going to be uh, placing a lot of glass in this video but it's going to be nothing like the last video all we need to do is carry on building this little middle row here uh, which will just be a raised bit and then we can start adding in the signs and the um, the water and stuff as well and hopefully um, if we're quick and I don't waste any time uh, by the end of the video we can have a quick play on it and it should be fun like I'm actually building this so it will be uh, like as fun as possible a lot of people build things uh, with just the intention of them making the like making them look good like the number one like priority of this ride is that it will like be fun to play that, that that's the aim of it anyway and sorry I'm building ridiculously slow like I always do um what I might actually do is leave um Lee to carry on building that and I might start adding in some of my pressure pads and stuff and I don't know if there's any in here. No, this is just full of signs. Uh, we're going to also need to use a lot of signs in this. But uh, I'm going to put down the pressure pads first. And basically what we're trying to do is make it so that you can swim up in your boat. Uh, because normally if there's water and it's like flowing towards you, um, you can't swim up. And it uh, looks like uh, Lee's lost interest placing the glass. I don't know if he knows that I want it all filled in. So I might just carry on a bit and hopefully they're going to carry on as well. There we go. Yes, yeah, so if I start doing these pressure pads. So basically we're making it so that you can be swimming around on your boat here. And then you can swim up to the higher level and swim back down again. And uh, it took me a while to work this out. And I actually got some uh, inspiration from Shot Paintbrush. Uh, who's the guy who built the uh, Happy Land videos. Uh, which you might have saw, uh, seen a few weeks ago. And uh, he had done it in his love tunnel. He had done something similar and I basically kind of <laughs> sort of took his idea and sort of did it into my world but um, I've changed it a little bit I did use um, a bit of uh, my own brain to sort of work out how to do it <laughs> okay right so I just need to finish off making all these pressure pads and then we need to go and place a whole load of signs you actually need like two rows of signs everywhere uh, so you do have to use um, a hell of a lot of signs it looks like they're, they're carried on uh, doing these pressure pads and um, yeah let, let's just start doing some of these signs now I guess um, 
there's there's a lot of them in here. The only annoying thing is that like you can't carry too many of them, and my inventory's um, kind of full at the moment. So I guess I just need to take as many as I can. So right, let's just fill up my inventory with signs. Oh look, I've got hardly any space. Um, I can get rid of that. I can get rid of this rotten flesh. I don't need you. Um, right, let's just get as many as I can here. Uh, I can eat those fish in a minute, which will make a bit more room. <laughs> like, I really tried to prioritise what I had in my inventory, but it always gets, like, filled up so quickly. And so, yeah, the signs need to go uh, along here, and I'm not going to bother writing on them. <laughs> I don't know, maybe if I had loads of time, I might write, I don't know, silly jokes or something on them, the sort of thing I normally do. But uh, for now, I'm just going to leave them all blank. And I need two rows of these the whole way round, and that makes it so that the water will flow over these pressure pads, then stop here, so that way it's, like... Uh, completely flat water and there's no streams anywhere and that way you can like sort of swim up and down on them and uh, yeah so I'm just going to place these the whole way round unfortunately the chest seems to be in the middle here which is a bit annoying but we can get rid of that in a minute and so yeah, um, sorry, I know this is going to be a little bit repetitive, but um, hopefully, as I said, uh, by the end of the video, we will get it done and we can play it. And I think um, we might as well just carry on working throughout the night. Um, I don't know if there's any need to go to sleep. Actually, I don't know, it might be a bit annoying so it'll get all dark, won't it, and then we won't be able to see anything. I mean, that's the main reason why I go to sleep. I can normally handle the googlies, depending on where I'm building. It's just annoying when it's all dark. I like things to be bright and colourful. This is Stampy's lovely world, after all, to be fair. Uh, so yeah, I just need to finish um, off doing this. And as I said in the last video, also in the middle, I'm going to have like a massive kind of diamond shape thing. Or like, or maybe just like a ball. Some sort of shape built out of glass. Um, I'll see how it ends up uh, when I try and build it. And then I'm just going to have water like trickling out the middle of it. Kind of like a waterfall in the middle. And uh, that will basically just mean that you can't swim right into the middle of here. Uh, but mainly it will just look cool is the main reason for that. And uh, also I'm going to have water all around the edge there. Which sort of pushes you in. So you can't bang into the edge. And also... Um, <laughs> I, saw, I didn't realise how much I had left to build. I'm also going to have... Um, like bases uh, in each corner of this square i'm gonna have a base uh, built out of different colored wool which is why i have all of this here and then you're gonna sort of start on like a raised platform and then like you go in your boat and the water's gonna push you down and like into the arena uh, just to sort of like um, i don't know just so you're not having to like get knocked into while you're trying to get into your boat and stuff and uh, so i don't know we could have like team games we could have like 2v2 games where you have like three boats each or something and it's whoever like can survive the longest i don't know we, we can work it out we work it out when we play it uh, but unfortunately uh, it is getting dark now and just so um, we don't get attacked by googlies i mean a creeper would have a field day over here if it came here and just like stood in the middle of this and smashed all this glass that would be like the creeper's best day ever wouldn't it <laughs> but anyway yeah as it is getting dark we should probably go and head over to sleep um over to the beds I'm going to have my sword out ready as well, just in case we get attacked. And actually, uh, very quickly, I want to quickly run into Googly's Manor, just to see if we have any friends in my dining room. If you remember in my last video, I did a um, a proper tour of Googly's Manor, and there was nothing in here. And I, I just want to prove to you that things do spawn, but there's nothing in here again. I think, like, for them all to spawn, you kind of need to spend a while inside Googly's Manor. And because, like, I'm normally far away from it, nothing spawns. I can hear a spider, though. There's a spider somewhere around here. Is it on the roof or something or is it in the attic i don't know i, I want to get out of here i mean I, I like googly's manor but it's kind of a bit scary and dark compared to what i'm building now <laughs> compared to the uh the crystal waters <laughs> right anyway anyway to bed let's jump to bed i try and tire myself as much as i can actually it's good that i'm getting hungry because then i can eat these fish and clear up some more space in my inventory for signs <laughs> right come on everyone bed you and are you in here are you in here? Do you get it? <laughs> I don't know if you're in here. I don't know. It doesn't really work, does it? <laughs> right, where, where is he? Is he in bed? Right, good. He's good. <laughs> he, he's better than me and Lee anyway. We're normally quite rebellious and stay out late. I've actually just thought Longbow's in the game as well, isn't he? Has Longbow gone to bed? I never saw him going to bed. Uh, I, I don't know where he is. He was in my uh, my music tower. There we go. <laughs> he's gone to bed now. I need to investigate what he's what he's doing. I need to go and have a look up there. I think in my next video I'm going to go and investigate uh, whatever he's doing in my music tower. He might actually be adding some music. <laughs> I mean, I call it my music tower, but that's only because there's a jukebox in it. Um, I think he might actually be, I don't know, maybe placing down some note blocks or something. I don't know. He's probably just doing something silly. He's probably making it into a a giraffe zoo or something like that knowing him <laughs> oh well okay let's carry on building um 
I think the main thing we need to do is just add all the signs in now and the pressure pads and stuff. Uh, I've done like the uh, the raised bit there. And uh, yeah, we just need a whole load of signs. Hopefully I can clear out my inventory enough. Um, I don't need these pressure pads, uh, so I can shove these into here. And I know we've used up all the signs already. I just need to go and craft a loads more. Right, okay, I've got quite a lot of sticks on me and stuff already. Um, right, let's just do as many as we can. Yeah, because this needs to be uh, two rows the whole way round. And oh, I guess there was uh, a sign here already, but it's invisible. I'm going to get rid of that and place down another one. Oh no, there, oh, there's a chest here. I didn't, I didn't realise there was ch the chest had just turned invisible. <laughs> I thought it might have been moved. Um, oh, I'm I can't even open it. I'm just placing um, signs all round the chest. It won't let me open it. Is this a glitched or something? Uh, why, why can't I look in the chest? Right, let me just try and destroy it. I just smashed the glass. Oh, this is, I think I think there's lag or something. It shouldn't be lagging for me though. I'm the host. <laughs> oh well, okay, we we got it done now though. All right, so let's let's place all these around the edge, and then I need to add another row as well at the top. Um, right, this one can go here. Doesn't really matter which way round. It looks a bit ugly, uh, but I don't know. This is the only way I I know how to do it. And if you have like any suggestions of an easier way to do this, or a way that won't look as gruesome as the way I'm doing it, well just ugly as the way I'm doing it, uh, then yeah please leave a comment and uh, leave your suggestion also any suggestions of future things that I could build in my fun land uh, some other rides and stuff and then also leave them as suggestions and I suppose now uh, it might be a good time to announce uh, what I'm going to be building once I've finished this, um, unfortunately it looks like I'm not going to finish this in this video so uh, I may have one more video finishing this off but after that I'm going to be building Stampy's secret base, um, you may remember a few videos ago um, I asked you to leave suggestions for something to build under my lake and I got a bunch of great suggestions but the uh, the most popular one by far was to build some sort of like panic room or like just some sort of place where I can defend myself in case hit the target attacks again and uh, I kind of I kind of took that idea and sort of added to it uh, to say like I want to build a secret base which will kind of be a bit like um, a bit like a bat cave and I'm going to have all sort of gadgets and weapons and all sorts in there and um, yeah it's just going to be my place where I can I don't know defend myself and I can uh, research weapons and stuff and I don't know hopefully just quite a cool area and I'm going to have um like secret entrances to it like I kind of want the entrance to be like where you swim down like into the lake or have an entrance uh, behind a painting or something like that and I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do it but it's gonna be something um, along those lines I'm sorry Barnaby I didn't mean to to make you sit down the entire video you can go you can go wander around go play with your friends <laughs> Um, or, or you can just stand next to me like you normally do and get in my way. <laughs> oh, I love Minecraft dogs. Like, when I'm playing by myself, I always have a dog following me. Like, even when like there's no one else in my game or I'm not making a video, I always need a dog near me. I don't know, just, just for a bit of company. Even though it's not real, it is just a dog. <laughs> it is nice to have some sort of company. And I'm going to eat my uh, final fish here as well, just so I can make uh, a bit more room for these signs. And then I'm going to start adding in the water. And then hopefully, as I said, uh, we can have one game of this uh, before the end of the video. That that would be good. Um, I didn't kind of realise how long it was going to take to place in all these signs. I'm so glad I got my Minecraft slaves here helping me out. Otherwise, this would have literally taken forever. And uh, Barnaby's also been helping me out very well. Barnaby's like my mascot, my mascot of this ride. He's the person who can uh, stand on the sideline and bark and egg people on while they're going around. And Longbow's actually joined me. I didn't really notice that. I kind of saw him fly past with an Enderman. I didn't really realise like who it was at first. Uh, what were you doing up upstairs, Longbow? What were you doing in my music tower? <laughs> Whatever it is, it looks like he's got bored or decided to come help us out. And to be honest, we do need the help. And oh look, oh, there's more invisible signs. Are all these invisible along here? Oh, they are. That's really annoying. Right, let me just get rid of these and place these down again because um, I, I don't know why they're doing that. I hate it when they do that. Normally when you got signs invisible like this, if you place a torch next to them, uh, it allows you to see them. But unfortunately... Um, I can't place down any torches because there's glass everywhere and it doesn't let you. Uh, but look, looks like we're nearly done now. And um, we just got that, that final top row to go. Uh, what I might actually start doing is adding in the water uh, while they're finishing off doing that. Uh, I'm just going to place down my last few signs here. Oh, looks like we're almost done anyway. Um, right. Now I can show you what the the point of all this stuff is. And I can see a few signs here glitching. I don't know if it's glitching because of lag or because uh, of the glass or something maybe. I, I don't know why. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to do it round the corner like this. And then there we go. That's the final sign placed in, I believe. Oh no, there's a few more. Oh well, so yeah, this is going to be just like a higher level. 
And uh, what I need to do now is build an infinite water source. Oh, look, there we go. There's one down there. Right, so I've got two buckets of water here. And now I just need to go and fill my inventory up with water buckets this time. Um, are there any in here, I guess? Uh, there we go. Here's a bunch of buckets. Right, if I go and grab all of that, that's probably a bit greedy, actually. I'm going to put uh, a few back so some other people can do the same. Right, and now let's just go and place as much of this water as we can. And so I'm going to place the uh, the top bit first, just so you can kind of see uh, how it should work. And I'm really hoping this works. I only very quickly tested it out, like, uh, before the video, so I'm not entirely sure if it's going to work. But it should do. Hopefully the water... There, there we go. The water will go right to the edge, but not over... And then when you have water down on this bottom level as well, it allows you just to like swim up and down. And so now we just need to go crazy and just start uh, placing water everywhere. Uh, which is going to be probably a little bit laborious and repetitive again. So sorry about this, but I don't know. I'm always just building in Minecraft and like it's always kind of hard to try and make it entertaining when all you're doing is placing blocks in a row. I'm just waiting to get this finished then I can play it, you know. Like the whole reason for building all this is basically just for me. Just because I think it would be fun to play. So I'm just doing this all entirely for my own entertainment. And I don't think we need to place water everywhere. I just want to uh, be able to place enough so there's not streams everywhere like there is now I'm kind of just getting stuck in the water and then we need to place the water like the whole way around this outside as well yeah this is going to take a lot longer than I first thought <laughs> why did I make this so big why did I make it so massive and something else I need to do actually is probably um do some means of holding it up as well I haven't added any any pillars down here so I might add that quickly and I'm doing my no oh, I, I took my golden boots off <laughs> The reason I've got all this golden armour, by the way, and my, my diamond helmet is because I stole it off Chloe. And there's actually one time when she got attacked or she she died for some reason. And uh, I ended up picking up all her armour and um, I haven't given it back since. And she hasn't mentioned it since. So hopefully uh, she's not going to tell me off. That's the reason I've got all my armour and stuff. But yeah, I'm just going to do uh, a few simple pillars like this. Just so it looks like uh, the whole thing isn't floating. And so the idea is that once this is all filled with water... People can be there, like, bouncing up there, but you can also see it from underneath. So there's just going to be, like, water above your heads. And then you can see, like, everyone banging into each other, like, above you. And then, um, yeah, it would just be, like, a, a cool way to watch it. So rather than having to, like, go above and look down, you can just sort of see them from underneath. And I think it looks all quite cool. I think it all looks, like, I don't know, like, quite clean and tidy. Especially compared to uh, Googly's Manor. It's quite a contrast. And I think this middle bit looks quite cool as well, like, the way it's slightly raised. Um... Yeah, look, yeah, you can see. That's what it will look like. But imagine, like, a load of boats above you instead of uh, Santa Claus running around up there. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to put these last few pistons in. And, of course, I mean, I'm not finished yet. What I think I might do is uh, I'll finish it off, like, as much as I can um, outside of a video. So in the next video, um, I can play this thing. And then I can go um, back to my home and start building my secret base, which should be cool. So um, please do leave any suggestions for things I could add in my secret base. Like, I want to just add a few cool entrances for you to get in. Uh, but apart from that, I'm not sure what to do. And oh no, look, looks like someone took the water too fast. We've wasted our water. I think they're there going uh, to go and grab some more from this lake. <laughs> if you have an infinite water source, but you take the water too quickly, um, you can actually get rid of it. And it looks like someone's done the same as me and just come over to here. And oh no, I'm making a bunch of streams. Oh well. I think I might just cover that all in with sand anyway. Like I'm not sure what to do with that lake there. I'm thinking of maybe adding like a, a fishing like mini game. Like some sort of fishing sideshow. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure how to make that work. And uh, there we go. We got our infinite water source back. I just want to sort of paste, like place enough water in. So we can have just like a quick tester. Uh, just so I can show you how it will work. And so what does it look like up here? Oh, here we go. This is looking all right. And there are still, like, a few streams. Um, it shouldn't be streaming over the edge, though. That's the annoying thing. Um, I don't know where I need to place glass. Uh, uh, place water, sorry. Um, this is how it should be. I oh, know, look, there's streams everywhere. There's not supposed to be streams along this. Can I place it, like, here? Can I place water? Um, I don't know if I've done this all wrong. Uh, I, I think there might have just been, like, I think I just need to place more water down. Uh, but it's supposed to all be, like, without any streams everywhere. Um, I, I might have to uh, try and sort this out after the video, uh, but the plan is so that um, there'll be all water down here as well, 
and uh, you'll be able to just be able to swim up and down from here. Um, but I think I may have built this wrong, so I'm just going to have to go and uh, double check that and redo it. And hopefully, as I said, by the next video, uh, this will all be completely finished. And then we can play it, then we can do the fun part and actually enjoy riding around and banging into each other in our little boats. But sadly, uh, that is going to end this video here. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!